Hello, Hawkflame here. I'm here to show you how to make scrolling signs. Right now, you can't really see anything because I haven't started the clock set because they do, for me, cause lag. And they probably will until there are some bug fixes with the new and latest Minecraft snapshot for 1.8. So, basically, it... Well, if you haven't watched my how to use set block to play signs using with text, then go check that out. The link will be in the description. And this is kind of the same principle, except we're using block data. So if I go in game mode one, it's a block data, the coordinates of the sign, and then text one or two or three or four quotations and the text you want to be on there. And basically, oop, there's lag spike. Basically, then after a few ticks, about three ticks, then you move the last letter here to the end with a space after. And it does it all the way until the end, which is the final one, which goes back to saying welcome. So this would be good for a server, maybe, if you wanted to. So here I have an example, and I'm just using, oops, another lag spike and I'm just using barrier blocks behind the sign so it actually stays there and it looks like it's floating instead of just doing the stuff with the block data and all that I didn't want to mess with that today so when this lag spike stops then I'll show you so I'll be right back when it's Okay, I'm back. It stopped. I turned my render distance down back to two chunks instead of 16. That probably was the problem. So now, if I get a redstone block and start these clocks, you can see them in action. So there's that one, and so it's basically a really quick pulse. And I don't know if you know about these, but it's a piston like length shortener where the repeater activates the block but also activates the piston so it pushes up really quickly so it sends a quicker pulse so it goes a little quicker and it doesn't stop it up because there's only three repeaters so let me start that again there we go and now here we go and see it's scrolling and you see at the top the little star and the dash sign are moving and the welcome is just scrolling through so it's really neat and then like once you get out of spawn you have pressure plates to change your game mode to game mode zero or to survival something so you can't destroy the sign whatever this we're not here to learn about how to make a server well, a vanilla server we're here how to learn how to do this so Let's create our own example. I'll be right back once I have the main principle set up so we can do this. Okay, first, the piston's gonna be your starting point, so dig a hole in the ground and place a block on top. And then from that, let me just look over there and make sure, you just place redstone there and a command block there, and this will be the starting one. So first, we actually need to create the platforms Let's use polished granite. Haven't really used this, used it much in the snapshot. Let's get some glowstone to light this place up. There we go. And then I don't know. I'm just gonna put red sand. Have a little red and pinkish thing going on. So then get a sign. And you could do the thing I showed in my how to place signs using set block video using block data and all that but I don't want to do that so give hockey flame or your name barrier and there's my phone I'll be right back okay I'm sorry about that and like a block way so not there but here build two up with the barrier and place a sign oops disappeared and just place an empty sign on there it doesn't really matter so over here well, first we need to get the block coordinate. So, F3, so a negative 56, 237, and 28. So let me copy that. 
so I have it. And then it's actually one block higher because the coordinates are the, the block above there. So block data. And you could use this during, during set block, but like I said, it's terrible. And then text one. We're going to do text one because you can do all the text in one command block per thing. So let's just do something simple. Let's just do a hello one. So hello and yeah so then you set a few ticks about right there on the third tick and then command block paste well you should copy that one using control a and control c so you have that so you can just paste it delete the first letter at the end do a space and put that letter there and it's going to take a few minutes, so I'll be right back when I have this done. We're back, and as you see, it's working. It says, it's hello, hello, and just going back and forth. It's like a little clock over here, a very s slow one, I guess you could say. So one vital mistake I made, which you probably shouldn't do, is I forgot to make it the block above, well, not there, but there instead. So I had to go back and change all of that. As you see, each one just changes by one letter, and then it goes back through again, and just scrolls through. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm sorry if it felt short or something. I've been very busy, so yeah, and if you like this, just leave a rating, or favorite, comment, subscribe, just whatever, and just I hope you have a good day. Thank you.